Hello everyone. So um, I'm actually on my way home from running some errands and I wanted to, I did, I made time to stop. I had to remind myself to stop because today would be day 10 of my 10 day chemical peel process. And I kind of just wanted to let everyone know or those who do listen or note to self, um, you know, the, how it ended, how my first chemical peel day 10 ended approximately 10 days is what I was told and today is day 10 um so this will be my last day well I, if I wear if you catch me out in public with the baseball cap on moving forward it'll be because I'm doing it by choice because my hair is not done um but I told myself Sunday after this open house I have to go to I don't have to go to um while I'm watching um my niece and nephew I mean by watching them I mean they run around the house while I'm washing my hair and I just make sure no one dies and don't I don't run out of Capri Suns um okay but t day 10 so I and I want to catch it in this light despite the pimple one and two for my coffee um but these are you know I've been also drinking a lot of water the last couple of days so I have no doubt in my mind that these two will be gone within a day or two so I'm not gonna mess with those um I know myself well enough to know not to touch that. But this is what my skin looks like now. No, I can't speak for everyone. I only know what my skin like looked like before. But the most significant thing I saw um, was that the acne scars, long-term acne scars, ones I've been living with probably for uh, my 30s at least maybe close to 15 years possibly some of them have significantly gotten a lot lighter which for me is great news um and like I said before I'm going to keep on doing this um so I do plan on doing one I'm going to a wedding next month but it won't line up with the break I need in between um but I feel good enough that um you know once I beautify myself up or whatever or beautify myself up even more because I'm, I'm already a hottie with a whole lot of body karate um so ridiculous um that um it'll look really good and now I know better and uh what to do better um I have like three different moisturizers I bought for this I never even told well I owned there's always my one go-to, but she said up it, up your moisturizer slash SPF. Um, and I had a, she said go for at least SPF 30. I also happened to had just ordered one. I was trying the Rihanna Fenty skin line, um, skincare line. And I, cause I love Rihanna. Rihanna can do very little wrong to me at this point in my life. Um, she's my goals for a lot of things. Um, and um, that toner that came with it was already an SPF 30. Um, but I did buy one more after I had left my dermatologist or the esthetician's office. And I got that one. It was really thick. It would be not, like sunscreen thick, like eucerin lotion thick, which did not make me feel good that first day because of how dry it was and you're not allowed to like you're not you're not touching you're not you're trying not to touch try not to pick you're trying not to peel which means things are like peeling things are uneven things feel gross and then to put such a thick sunscreen on over top it felt like it was like stuck in between like like a maybe like a pimple cluster I know this is a lot and it's kind of slightly embarrassing but the point is it's not the case anymore so that's why I should be okay telling my story <laughs> um so there's that like I said I definitely think I see myself doing it after maybe two more times I think I'm gonna be y'all can't tell me nothing um, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good now. I've been out and about with just my regular face on anyway, because you just gonna have to see me, y'all, because uh, I still exist. Um, so I'm really excited about that, and it's just in time for the farmer's market this weekend, just in time for the drag brunch, it's just in time for my drinks tomorrow evening, just in time for this open house on Sunday, just in time, just in time, just in time. So all of that's going on, which is really exciting. Um, 
So I really wanted to get that out of the way. Oh, and I forgot to mention the other day, which I'm really proud of myself because I've been trying to let you guys know what's been going on with me and how I've been taking care of myself and how I've been loving on myself right now and how I've been just, 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 just spoiling myself. Um, and I mentioned it before, but I haven't followed up since. And thank you for reminding me because now I have to make another phone call. It's after five o'clock. I did end up signing up. Well, I have another, I made my, a new therapist appointment. So yay me. So keep that going. I love her. She loves me. Um, we're going to be one big happy family. Um, that's not what that was for, but I also, I haven't told you guys, um, I have officially enrolled in my ballet classes. So I'm really excited about that. Um, Physical fitness is important, sure. Or just staying active is more important, I think, than physical fitness. I don't really like the way that sounds. Living an active life, however you choose to do that. That means incorporating things um, to keep yourself busy, to keep your body moving. Because as you get, you know, life goes on. If you don't use it, you lose it. Um, and for me, I've always had a passion for, like, um, dancing. Um it's just beautiful and it was something I was good at I've tried a, a lot of different things and a lot of different things as it came to art because I guess I'm kind of drawn to more artistic forms of expression certainly not like running even though I'm still trying to be a runner in my mind um like not your traditional forms of fitness but for me growing up um, I took um, ballet, modern, jazz, tap, Broadway. I've done a lot of I've done a lot of different types of dancing, but my my sweet love has always been for um, ballet. There's just something so beautiful and graceful about it. It's very hard on the body sometimes, but I just there. It's just it's 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 just I don't know. It's like magic. It's ethereal, if that's the correct way to pronounce it. It's almost outside of your body it's just it's crazy the discipline um for something i think that is so beautiful um but the point was i enrolled in my adult ballet classes which i'm really proud of and i'm really excited for i'm about to show all these bitches up um you better watch out i know i'm a little rusty um but best believe I'm coming through me and my good ankles are coming through but my ballet shoes I'm really excited for so um, I'll probably keep uh, you guys posted on that there is another dance class I'm actually interested in rolling in and that's the one I re just remembered but I can't call them until after five and it's now six so I just remembered oh call them so that's something um, I did give myself some homework for this evening um, and I need to pre-order this book I found online too. Actually, two books. One is like a murder mystery because that's my jam. I like to play detective. I'm really good at it. And two, the other one is another book of poetry by this um, this girl. She is something to me. Um, but I guess that's mostly what I wanted to update you guys on. I'll be doing this again soon. Um, today is Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Weekend kickoff. Just love yourself every day. Try to love yourself a little bit every day. Find something good about yourself every day. Find something that makes you happy every day. Not necessarily you're able to do that activity every day, but there is something good in everyone in your existence every day. Every day, every day. Um, so yeah, find something that makes you happy and find a way to do it. I know a lot of people, I've been seeing a lot of people or the mentality I've learned from a lot of people is that learn to be happy where you are. And I do understand that too. It's not that I'm constantly striving because I'm, I just also don't believe you should get, you should appreciate every step, but you should always be trying to be greater until you are at your best. Actually, and I don't even think that there's a point where you should stop trying because until you die, you should be constantly striving to be better, to be greater, to be happier, to be more fulfilled, to have more information, to have more knowledge, to learn more, to be the best version of yourself. And you have a lifetime to keep growing and becoming that person. So it is my responsibility as my human being, as myself, to keep striving to be better. But every step along the way, love yourself, love the, the, the journey, love the growth. 
it's not always gonna be great you have to just you can't sit in it it's gonna hurt it's gonna make you have to stop it's gonna make you have to sit down but the thing is and you don't you can't necessarily control how fast you get through it but you have to try to and you have to keep going look at my thin collarbones mm. collarbones of a ballerina <laughs> nothing can stop me I'm all the way up um anyway I'm gonna go um um, it's the coffee. I told you, it's the coffee. It's, I can't. I love it. It's my kryptonite. Now I'm drinking water, water, water. I owe it to myself to drink. For every one cup of coffee I have a day, I need to be like chugging water, like for the most part, the rest of the day. So I'm committed to doing that. And I'll touch base with you guys soon. But look, chemical peel, it, it works. It works. And if I'm telling you guys how much it costs to tell you about how I got here, um, I want to say it cost me $135. It's not, that's not a million dollars. So, and like I said, that was really affordable considering people were trying to charge me $175 and up. Somebody, somebody said $110, but that was from an esthetician, like a regular beauty supply or beauty, like, massage parlor who gives regular facials and I get those too um but because this is something that I have been I've already gotten facials I've been through that process the cute little fun facials at your local you know massage parlor slash whatever I've done those before that made no difference so that's why I upped my ante and when I upped my ante you have to really get serious and invest in yourself and this was an investment into myself and I've gotten at least three noticeable reactions from people who've known me. Like three positive, like I've gotten positive feedback. Not just that, but me, myself, I can see it. So I'm doing something right. Something that at least is working for me. So with that being the case, loves, it is time for me to go 12 minutes later. Or at least a great evening. <laughs>